Hello Epic 7 and welcome to this week's Hall of Trials video. Before we begin, I want to give a special shout out to Smilegate and to thank them for sponsoring this video and inviting me to be an official content creator for Epic 7. Now, to date there still is no Dagger Sakaar reputation mission for Incomplete Fastest, so we're just looking for the good solid triple S plus score with normal builds on an easy full auto team and that's what I've put together for you here today. You should be able to bang out a very easy triple S plus score with this team and not have to change builds and I also offer a couple alternatives in case you're missing some of these units. And make sure you stick around for the end of the video. I've got a special Easter egg for you that I think you'll find very interesting. A great way to give your account a pretty solid boost and find another reason to farm Hall of Trials. But let's jump into the conditions. First, if you have an Ice Elemental Hero anywhere on the team, it decreases the attack of all of the allies by 50%. So, no Ice units. Sorry, Bologna. Next, Fastus is immune to attack down, which is not a big deal because he self-cleanses every time he takes a turn anyway. So, If you have Fire Elemental units on the team during the break phase, they will do 40% more damage. So, Fire units, good. And last is the Ranger bonus. So if you're a Ranger and you have two buffs, you'll attack twice. And if you have three buff or four buffs, you'll attack three times. So you want to try to maintain at least two, ideally four buffs at all times. To that end, we've put this team together. This is our full auto team. I'll show you alternatives as we move through. First on the team is going to be Mediator Quaric. Mediator Quaric is really good for this because his S3 skill is a full cleanse, gives attack buff and immunity. So he takes care of two of our buffs in one fell swoop and he gets rid of the buff block and heal block that Fastest puts on your team. Also his S2 skill gives a barrier, which is an artificial form of healing since we aren't running a healer. He does do an attack down on his barrier, which doesn't work because Fastest is immune. You need to make sure he is the fastest unit on your team who has skills on and give him Warhorn to help with cycling and extra damage. Um, DN is probably a good alternative to him, but it won't be full auto. You'll have to manual DN's cleanses. Next unit is Elagos. Now, you do not need a 300 speed Elagos by any stretch. His speed really doesn't matter that much, but I didn't change his gear. This is just how mine is normally built. You do want him on the Song of Stars artifact, however, because we're going to have his skills turned off. So even though he does have target on his S3, he's never going to use it, so we're going to keep him on Song of Stars so he can target units. Next unit on the list is Fire Lytica. Now, Fire Lytica doesn't really get use anywhere else, so I run her with a damage set. Put her on her S1EE for extra damage, and I put her on Bloodstone for healing. This is a pretty low quality rage set for what I normally have, but the rage set plus her bloodstone, even though I've got no Mola in her S1, should make her a satisfactory healer. Now if you don't want to use Fire Lytica, don't blame you, an alternate unit would be Fire Shuri. Also put him on bloodstone and he will heal you up pretty well. I, I would recommend putting him on at least attack boots. You want him to do some damage to proc that bloodstone heal. Now Landy is going to be our fourth unit. Landy brings a tremendous amount of damage, but more importantly her S3 has a speed buff on it and will give her the Cruel Mischief artifact for extra damage. Now I did switch her boots out to attack main boots to slow her down because she was faster than my Mediator Quaric. Oh, and I promised alternatives. If you don't have Elagos, you can run Command Model Laika. She functions very well in this fight. Her uh, S3 skill has a uh, buffs on it. Her S2 skill gives attack buffs and dual attacks, and with it being a non-attack skill, if you run her on her own Glow Wings artifact, you will be able to give two-turn barriers to the whole team, yet another source of buffs. You do need to run her with her skills on, though, so you'll want to make sure you slow her down. She uh, shouldn't be this fast, or she's going to cycle her skills before you get into the break phase, and you really want her to use that S2 inside of the break phase. And this is how the full auto fight goes. You want to have Fire Lytica and Elagos' skills off. At the beginning of the fight, Fastus applies buff block to the entire team. This is why you want Mediator Quaric to be the fastest unit using skills. Elagos will apply a target if you don't get 15%ed. Mediator Quaric S3s, which removes the buff block, gives attack and immunity. Landy S3s giving a speed buff, killing the adds, triggering Elagos' suitcase, which does additional damage, paving the way for Lytica to S1 into the break phase. 
We've got three buffs on all of our rangers. Hand guy does his S2 for a barrier. Now we have all four debuffs. Elegos dual attacks with Landy and then gets two additional hits due to the four buffs. Landy does three attacks because of the buff. Elegos dual attacks, this time with Fire Lytica. Hand guy wastes the turn, but we're back to Landy. Now, you could have turned Landy's skills off for this attack and racked up a higher score, but I promised a full auto fight, and that's what we're going to give. Lytica does three attacks on her turn. The Bloodstone has pretty much fully healed our entire team inside of this break phase. Elegos gets one more attack off before we exit the break phase, and Fastest does his ultimate once again, putting buff block on the entire team. Hand guy is one turn away, so he S1s. Landy does some damage. Elegos gets target, but when Fastest takes a turn, he self cleanses, so the target doesn't help us that much. But we're just in time for Hand guy to use his S3 skill, full cleanse, attack buff, and immunity. And now Lydica can start healing the team up from the chip damage while we push towards the second break phase. Now as long as you have buffs on, you don't take that much damage. If you don't have any buffs on and Fastest hits you, he will hit twice and then do an AoE pop damage like he's got a Ragnar's drink on. So having buffs on is very important throughout this fight if you're doing manual or auto. Now we're into phase three. We're a little lean on buffs. We get the target buff up, but uh, hand guy is ready with his S3. Now we've got three buffs on our rangers. Unfortunately, we didn't trigger Elagos' suitcase, so no dual attacks. And we only get two attacks because we have three buffs. Now we're up to four buffs. Now that we have four buffs, we'll get all three attacks off instead of just two from our rangers. So that was one, there's two, and there's the third attack. We are now well above triple S plus on the score. Landy S3s, once again, turning off her skills there would have been way better damage. Got a free dual attack off of Elagos. Just a random three percenter. And another random three percent. We're now over 6 million points. 4.5 million is triple S plus, by the way. Mm, resisted our target, that's unfortunate. And we got target just in time for uh, Fastest to cleanse it with his, S with his uh, action. And we get resisted again, lovely. Hand guy uses his S3. This will get rid of all of the debuffs, allowing Lydica to start healing the team again with Song of Stars, or with um, Bloodstone. We put barriers up. Barriers are very important. That's a form of artificial health, and it also keeps Fastest from double attacking and hitting us with his pop skill. This is a pretty safe and clean team if you run Bloodstone. If you don't run Bloodstone, you're still going to be deep in the triple S plus range. You just probably won't get to full completion, which is where this fight is heading. Speed buff and push from Landy. I cannot stick a target to save my life with Elegos. One more time around the horn with the buff block applied to everybody, but I think Mediator Quirix S3 is ready. Yep, there it is. Gets rid of all of those debuffs, gives everybody attack buff, and still resisted on the target. Those add steal um, buffs, it's really annoying when they steal the barrier. And there we go. Full clear on full auto. 7.4 million, and I didn't re-gear any of my units except for putting attack boots on Landy and changing a couple of artifacts. So, a very inexpensive way to get triple S+. 
Now, if you run the same team on manual and you move a little bit more gear around, as you can see, you can push a much higher score than 7.4 million. I was able to get to the second place spot with this team, um, push the score a little bit harder, made sure that I S1'd when I needed to, made sure I entered the break phases with the optimal amount of uh, uh, buffs on my units, and was a little bit smarter about Elagos' suitcase. Oh, I promised you a special Easter egg. So you see Zeno in the shop here? Zeno has a use now, guys. Buy all of these Zenos that you can. Now, now once you've bought all these Zenos, pull up your inventory. Find your Zenos in your inventory. Let's see, sort by ice mages. There he is. Pull one of them up and start imprinting because Zeno is a five-star unit. So if you imprint with Zeno, you get purple blossoms. So that's a really quick way to get uh, a six-star worth of spirit blooms. Now I used one of those holotrial Zenos to six-star my, my original Zeno that I got before Holotrials was even a thing, so I'm short one, but you can actually get five and get a full free six-star upgrade out of buying those Zenos. I mean, not free. You have to spend 150 shop currency per to get them, and selling them won't gain you anything, so stick them on a, um, I don't know, throw some random gear on them and throw them in your world boss team, or stick them in your storage, but anyway free six star upgrade if you've got the shop currency so yet another reason to make sure you farm hall of trials every other week i hope this team helps you uh, clear the content i hope the tip about using xeno for free upgrades is a is a worthy one for you if you have any questions ask them in the comment section and as always don't forget like and subscribe have a great week everybody